God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we are in the presence of our Saviour. What a blessed moment this is for us, wherein we are in the presence of the one who has created us, one who has loved us, one who came on earth to accept us and take us back and show us the road which we had lost. And more importantly, Jesus who died for our sins. We are in his presence. The presence of love, the presence of peace. He gives each one of us when we are in his presence. So let us once again surrender ourselves, give our entire selves into his loving hands. And let us ask him, who is a good shepherd, to lead us and to guide us. And may we enjoy the peace that we are all looking for. Dear Jesus, we thank you, we praise you, we adore you and we worship you. For you love us unconditionally. You love us completely, totally. And for this, we are grateful to you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us this opportunity to come in your presence. For giving us the gift of life. In and through this gift of life, we are able to enjoy your presence. We want to praise you, Jesus. We want to love you, Jesus. And as we raise our hands with gratitude towards you, accept our praise and adoration. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Adore you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Adore you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 My dear friends, today we are praying, especially in our morning prayer, for our brothers and sisters, a prayer for deliverance from curses. My dear brothers and sisters, let us surrender ourselves because it is only the Lord can deliver us and He can deliver when we open ourselves to Him. So let us open ourselves before our Lord and Savior and ask Him and more importantly allow Him to heal us and create in us a new being, a being of love, peace and joy. So as we sing this hymn, Create in me a clean heart, O God. Let us surrender ourselves and with joyfully, with lovingly, with humility, let's make this hymn our prayer to our Savior, Jesus. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit in me. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit in me. Wash me, cleanse me, purify me. Make my heart as white as snow. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit in me. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit in me. 
let us in the silence of our hearts in this moment of grace let's offer ourselves and ask the Lord to heal us and create in us a clean heart a heart that understands a heart that beats for one another my dear brothers and sisters the psalm 145 the psalmist prays for the blessedness of those who hope in the Lord let us praise the Lord all our days that is in all our conduct my dear brothers and sisters for those who hope in the Lord the Lord never makes them sad so for all those brothers and sisters who are seeking a deliverance in their lives from curses from various kinds or from various types of people let us always remember as the psalmist says the blessedness of those who hope in the Lord let us not look around us and get worried but let's look at the Lord and be glorified so as we say this psalm let us offer ourselves our brothers and sisters and pray during this psalm for the deliverance from curses I will praise my God all my days my soul give praise to the Lord I will praise the Lord all my days make music to my God while I live put no trust in princess in mortal men in whom there is no help take their breath they return to clay and their plans that they come to nothing he is happy who is helped by Jacob's God whose hope is in the Lord his God who alone made heaven and earth the seas and all the contain it is he who keeps faith forever who is just to those who are oppressed it is he who gives bread to the hungry the Lord who sets prisoners free the Lord who gives sight to the blind who raises up those who are bowed down the Lord who protects the stranger and upholds the widow and orphan it is the Lord who loves the just but trots the path of the wicked the Lord will reign forever Zion's God from age to age glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without an amen I will praise my God all my days let us pay attention to the scripture reading taken from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 verses 39 to 40 understand this therefore and take it to heart the Lord is God indeed in heaven above as on earth beneath he and no other keep his laws and commandments as I give them to you today the word of God thanks be to God my dear brothers and sisters today as we are praying in a special way for the deliverance from curses let us offer our families and all other families whom we know that need deliverance from curses as we pray let us surrender our families to the Lord let us pray Lord Jesus Christ we believe that you are the Son of God the only mediator between God and man you are the way the truth and life we believe that you died for our sins thank you Jesus you have taken upon yourself the crosses of ours and died for us on the cross that we might be redeemed from the curse and enter into the blessing of the Father we believe that we have been delivered from the dominion of darkness and admitted into your kingdom of light 
in you we have redemption the forgiveness of sins and we believe that you have cancelled the records that stood against us you have destroyed them by nailing them to the cross lord jesus christ we confess and ask your forgiveness for all our sins and the sins of our ancestors we also forgive every person who has wronged or harmed us we forgive them as you have forgiven us we renounce all types of evil practices and now lord having received your forgiveness by faith with the authority and the power as a child of god we now release from us any form of a curse upon our life right now in the name of jesus thank you jesus we declare released we claim it by faith in the name of jesus we declare released thank you lord thank you jesus we are free in the name of jesus we are cleansed by the power of his healing blood mary a loving mother intercede for each one of us that we may not go back to the evil ways but always walk on the way that your son has shown us we make this prayer through christ our lord let us once again surrender ourselves our present petitions in the words of our savior jesus taught us let us put before him our prayers and petitions and surrender as we say the prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen let us pray remember lord your solemn covenant renewed and consecrated by the blood of the lamb so that your people may obtain forgiveness for their sins and a continued growth in grace through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever let us bow ourselves and surrender ourselves totally as we seek the blessings of our savior jesus Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name.
Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen.